Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. This video is a part of the two-phase flow series. In this video, we are going to talk about two important parameters which are available for both level set and phase field model in COMSOL multiphase. Today, we will be talking about the level set model and in level set, those two parameters are reinitialization parameter and the parameter controlling interface thickness. Reinitialization parameter is denoted by the symbol gamma, whereas the interface thickness controlling parameter is denoted by epsilon. This is very useful, or actually, those are two controlling parameters which controls the solution, numerical stability, and everything. So, defining these two values appropriately is very important if you want to run your simulation or if you want to converge your simulation appropriately in a layman language if you want accurate result from your simulation then deciding on these two parameters are important now as a as as a new user of comsol you do not have idea about what exactly should be the values for these two parameters and that is why it is important to learn from the software itself. So what thing we actually do is or the strategy I have actually followed is let us look into the files which are already available in console. So this is one of the files which is available in the console application library. So you can see this particular one is capillary filling by level set. I have already made videos on this capillary filling. You may watch that particular video. I may put the link in the description box for your use. So this capillary filling case, you can understand the capillary filling process is a very slow process. That So the liquid which will rise up, it will rise up with a very slow velocity maybe few millimeters or centimeter per second maximum and hence you can see the parameter the reinitialization parameter which they are using is one meter per second and the parameter which controls interface thickness is five micron for this particular case so let us now move to another file which is there in the application library so the one we will be choosing is this inkjet nozzle why am i choosing this one because capillary flow process capillary rise process is a very slow process whereas this inkjet printing you can see when the liquid drops comes out from a jet the velocity is very high so let us see how much velocity they are taking for this inkjet printing model. So let us go to their level set. This is the level set model. So you can see they are using 10 meter per second, whereas the initial one, the capillary rise one was one meter per second. So as the flow velocity increases, they are increasing this reinitialization parameter. Whereas the control, the thickness, uh, the parameter which controls the thickness, that is more or less 2.5 micron. Initially it was 2 micron, now they are taking 2.5 micron. So we at least have some, I mean, two extreme points. Extreme means solution of one which has a very slow velocity and solution of the other which has a very high velocity. So, but that does not give, our, uh, give us a complete picture, it just gives us the initial picture. Now, let us move to one file which is given by Comsol itself. I will put this file in the description box so that you can have access to it or you can just search for the file on internet, you will get it. But for your help, I will just put the file in the description box. So let us just read this few lines and it will be very much useful if I read it with you. So what they are saying, fluid flow with moving interfaces or boundaries 
occur in a number of different applications such as fluid structure interactions multiphase flow and flexible membranes moving in a liquid so if you are working with any one of this mod this phenomena then you need this level set model to actually to have your solution one way to track moving interfaces is to use level set method so this is available in console and this is one of the ways by which you can track the interface interface means suppose you have water and oil at the junction you call it interface a certain contour line of the globally defined function level set function then represent the interface between phase so this in this level set function which is denoted by phi that will actually be representative of your interface now they have given few information which are useful here so you can see the level set method is a technique to represent moving interface or boundaries using a fixed mesh that means when you are having a mesh which is not changing over time then it gives you the best result it is useful for problems where the computational domain can be divided into two domains separated by an interface so those things i'll come i'll talk about again but let us go to the important thing which is coming from here in comsol multiphysics phi is a smooth step function that equals 0 in a domain and 1 in the other that means say you have water and oil if you are defining phi value for water is 0 then the phi value for your oil would be 1 and at the interface it will step up from 0 to 1 or when you are moving from the top to bottom it will step down from 1 to 0 but this step up and step down does not happen suddenly it happens through a particular thickness and that particular thickness is called interfacial thickness i have already talked about it interface in numerical methods is not exactly a line rather it has a certain thickness and that thickness is called interfacial thickness and your epsilon is an indication of that interfacial thickness parameter now coming to the most important lines which are given here you can see this is the equation we are taking in level set so you can have a look at this equation in comsol also this is available uh, for you i can just go to the comsol interface and show it to you once this is the level set if you go to the equation if you go to the time dependent one you can see this is the equation and this equation they have written here in in this pdf file so this phi basically solves the interface sorry so this d phi dt plus this u is the convective speed or the velocity of the fluid so here they are clearly representing clearly telling that the terms on the left hand side that is these two terms give the correct motion of the interface so you can see this term the first term is the move the interface with the velocity field u so the modeling interface solves the following function okay so you can see d phi dt that is a change of phi with respect to time and this one is a convection so that's why they are telling the terms on the left hand side give the correct motion of the interface while those on the right hand side are necessary for the numerical stability so this is a very important statement so they are what they are telling is this term is basically necessary for the numerical stability otherwise this much equation that is d phi dt or do phi dot t basically plus u dot grad phi could have been zero but this is not zero because our interfacial thickness and all this gamma is not zero and this this epsilon is not zero so 
this is not zero so this is exactly what we use as a level set equation and this particular function represents the numerical stability i am not telling this is told by comsol itself because this is their file now what they are telling the parameter epsilon so this parameter that is the interfacial control the thickness controlling parameter determines the thickness of the region where phi goes smoothly from 0 to 1 and is typically of the same order as the size of the element of the mesh. This is very important. So what they are telling this epsilon value has a direct correlation with the mesh size. If you are using a coarse mesh then you have to choose epsilon different if you are going ahead with a very fine mesh then your epsilon should be different so they are exactly prescribing how exactly you can do that by default epsilon is constant within each domain and equals the largest value of the mesh size h within the domain so you can understand if you are if you have chosen a mesh you go to the statistics option you can see what exactly the mesh element or how much I mean what is the size of each mesh element what is the maximum uh, size so I will let me try to do it for you if you just right click on the meshes not here say this one mesh 2 if I right click and go to statistics actually I have not done uh, the meshing has not been done yet but anyway if the meshing would have been done then under statistics you would have got all the expressions so from there you can have the information of maximum mesh size and that can be chosen as epsilon okay so then they are telling the parameter ga uh, gamma determines the amount of reinitialization or stabilization of the level set function it needs to be tuned for each specific problem i am not telling they are telling it needs to be tuned for each specific problem if gamma is too small the thickness of the interface might not remain constant and oscillation in phi may appear because of numerical instabilities so this is very important on the other hand if gamma is too large the interface moves incorrectly that means ultimately you are get, getting an incorrect solution uh, which has no value the suitable value of gamma is the maximum magnitude of the velocity so this is very important this is like uh, uh, it's, it's like a thumb rule so what you can do is whatever velocity it is moving ahead with like I have shown you for inkjet problem they have taken 10 meter per second the gamma value whereas for the capillary rise they have taken 1 meter per second so keep this handout with you this is very useful if you are working with two phase flow I hope this video was helpful it gave you the initial concept now what I am thinking is I will do some exercise and uh, by like a parametric simulation I will be carrying out where I will change those reinitialization parameters and gamma values and systematically note the results and I will talk relatively about those effects. So I am doing this exercise if any one of you want to contribute to my work then you can write to me in the email id given in the description box. So if you are helping me then it will be very much useful. Uh, we can make a joint video as well. So with this I am stopping here. I hope uh, my videos are helping you. If so, kindly share those videos with your peers and do subscribe to our channel.